Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have Bosnian Church, American Residential Building and Hungarian Bus. Um, this is something that caught my eye in the last seven days there's a lot around 30 ish mods that were released in the in that time so please go and check out all the mods that are in our workshop uh we have amazing community we are creating a beautiful 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 content frankie svk or slovakian icarus uh, 280 dpb ev uh ev meaning electric vehicle no uh 2876 frankie ls for skin workers resources soviet republic skin uh na autobus icarus uh 20 uh, 280 right so why did i choose this one uh this is my favorite bus in the game i use this bus in real life it's absolutely amazing um it's really cool and it's actually quite um the ingenious design of the bus this is just a skin for this bus i'm gonna show you how it looks like these are the bratislava version of the <coughs> Bratislava version of the bus for that was used for public transport system there Right, so this is uh, my favorite bus in the game This is why I chose this mod this skin for it and I'm really happy that people are creating this kind of content for it So we have two versions. This is vanilla just the red bus and we have I'm gonna uh, show you uh, how they differ I'm just gonna remove a couple of these buses there we go. So we have the vanilla version, the red one, and the one with the decals with uh, the signs. For, and I, it's a little bit lighter color. Anyway, uh, this is free. There's no you don't you can pay it. I cannot compare it to vanilla. I think this is a really great uh, artistic expression on part of the modder, and of course this is historically accurate. So definitely big thumbs up for me. You have a link in the description of the video. Abelian hike eight five two. Old mode is deleted, uh, so this is the vegetable fields. Uh, there's an, the, the, This is a mod that was released previously, but is, was redone. Previously we had just a field, uh, similar to vanilla field, but it created vegetables or created food directly, which is something that this game definitely um, lacks. Previously we talked in my uh, Let's Play series and in the Discord we talked about how this game goes into details regarding some stuff like let's say material production, aluminium and nuclear resources, nuclear energy, uh, while on some other things like trams and in this case, case food production it's extremely basic. And the, these kind of mods like uh, Abel and Hike made here, uh, they definitely add depth to the game where you can use different ways of creating food for your people not only one food factory but you actually can grow vegetables which you would do in real life now let's talk about the building so there was an old mod here and mr abel and hike um, uh, left the note old mod was deleted if you still need it he will provide it to you uh, zip folder vegetable field uh, now about this mod this is vegetable field one hectare which works as a factory and produces direct food not crops I made this mod several months ago, but it was uh, not so balanced, so I decided to remake it. Uh, what changed? Added a small warehouse at the field edge, added chemicals as necessary resource, fertilizer, decreased the outcome. Produces 3 tons of food daily for maximal production. Needed 20 workers and 10 kilograms of um, uh, chemicals. Actually, I think this is capacity of 10 kilograms. Oh, no, no, sorry, my bad. Uh, 10 kilograms of uh, fertilizer, yes, it's required 10 kilograms of fertilizer in order to uh, operate this field so let's see well, i'm done reading now there's description in russian i believe as well so go on go ahead and check that out but here uh, is it balanced yes absolutely i think this is way more balanced than it was before first of all 20 workers to create three tons of food let's try to compare this to vanilla building we have a food factory here that uh, requires 170 people to create 20 tons of food, but you need resources, in this case crops. Uh, uh, in, in the new mod we need 10 kilos of chemicals in, uh, per day, that's per day, uh, to produce 3 tons of food. I think this is extremely balanced. Uh, I think if we uh, multiply this by 7, uh, 7 
seven ish we would get it more or less 100 140 people working on the uh, seven fields and they would be producing more or less similar amount of food um, uh, and we have the food factory produces uh, it requires 170 people to produce 20 tons of food but this is really really balanced compared uh, to previously and um, it can be you can even put a little bit more people to work on the field like let's say 25 but um, this is just my personal opinion i don't want this to be taken as uh, you know something rebalancing because i'm not perfect in making these decisions now chemicals um 10 kilos of chemicals yes chemicals first of all they're complicated to make uh, and they're expensive to import so uh, this is a good resource and even this small amount of chemicals i think it's um, it, it's it makes it way way more balanced so this and 50 ton warehouse this definitely looks like a 50 ton warehouse so this is absolutely beautiful this is something you're gonna see on my let's place i think this is amazing stuff here guys and oh price right we, we forgot to mention the price so all the way in the back with where all our mods are this costs uh, 1000 rubles okay here uh, here I would say it we could make it a little bit more pricier like uh, wood would might, might be required for this construction let's see uh, what is required for uh, this field to be created yes it requires it doesn't require uh, yeah we require three tons of wood Hmm, three tons of wood. I, I would put it a little bit more than that. I would go up to 10, maybe even more tons of wood because uh, it's not so expensive. Uh, other other than that, you just get the ground and you put fertilizer on it. You know, you work the ground. That's where the workers come in. Everything else, I think, is extremely balanced. I love this mod. You're going to see it in my Let's Plays. Now, uh, if you want to check out more details, go into the link in the description of the video. Name butchering time. Uh, quickly, ben Bendig... Uh, Central European Public Village Buildings Pack. Hi comrades, here part 2 of my village pack includes 7 elements of village um, infrastructure. Small clinic, library, tavern, elementary school, kindergarten, cemetery, uh, sports, sports grounds, <laughs> that's funny, um, a town hall. Uh, content background, this aims to provide realistic buildings and infrastructure with a consistent style. Perhaps might find such buildings in Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, etc. Uh, they are however strongly inspired by villages from Brandenburg and Saxony, Germany. What's next? The last part will provide basic village economy, mostly barns, farms, storage, food. Okay, that's, that's for the future, we're not gonna talk about that. I use modding CS, uh, a lot of yens. Uh, and recently got started on with uh, adding content yeah you have more details there i will not read all of it you're gonna have to go there and check it out yourself we're gonna go and check out the buildings that we have in front of ourselves so we have a sports playgrounds here um that does require heating okay that's a big no-no i would say uh if you guys can remove the heating from here because i don't think you know uh, uh actually i don't know maybe but anyway heating so we have here a uh, guest house that would be the hotel we have the uh, small village clinic that would be hospital oh we even have a slot for a car how does it look let's check it oh that's really nice that's really nice details are absolutely amazing on this one library and club that would be the cinema then we have the elementary school uh, 10 people uh, how many what is the capacity I don't have capacity for students at the moment. That, that's fine. Elementary school. Uh, wait, that would be school or college? Um, right, elementary school. No, it's just a school. Okay, and then we have the tavern. No alcohol. That's perfect. That's really nice. And then we have the rat house. That would be the city hall. And then we have the kindergarten here. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful buildings, I have to say. Details on them are absolutely amazing. Oh, what's the capacity? It doesn't say. Unfortunately, it doesn't say description, and I can't get them now. Populated, um, we're going to skip that part. But the details on this house is absolutely amazing. This one is a little bit clean, but uh, some of them have to be. The rest of them are really, really nice and weathered. You can see the paint even falling off the walls. And uh, this is something that you would find even in my hometown. These kind of old buildings, even the city hall looks uh, kind of similar. I'm going to say kind of similar. Now, the cemetery thing, I don't know what's the joke behind it, but <laughs> why is cemetery? It could be a religious building. It doesn't have to be the, it doesn't have to be the football pitches. 
so I'm not really sure why is it so. But anyway, this could be tour. Like it looks like it's uh, it can be also as a tourist attraction. But uh, yeah, cemetery. Anyway, really, really beautiful mod if you want to build yourself a Central European medieval village. Not really medieval, but um, your village. Uh, you have a link. Oh, right. No, no, no. You don't have a link anywhere. Let's check the prices on these bad boys. So if we go for purchasing, they are six thousand. Oh, that's not cheap. None of this. Whoa. Elementary school, that's the biggest one over here. They, they, it's 20,000. That's not cheap. Um, tavern. I think for prices for these are extremely fair. So I think it's extremely balanced mode. I think it's fair. Even if you put it a little bit more expensive, I'm still fine with this. But anyway, beautiful mod. Link in the description of the video. Sports Hall by Karan Tuki. Man of many talents and little words. Sports Hall, 20 workers, 100 visitors, 2.5 attraction score. Right, according to the uh, screen thumbnail for this, this is a uh, Eastern German, uh, Eastern German uh, sports hall. It is really beautiful, and uh, is it a brutalist style? But it has a lot of concrete. It has air conditioning on the top. I believe that should be air conditioning, and it's just, it's just classic uh, socialist architecture. Okay, so how much does it cost? If we go to the details here and we find our sports hall, it's 45,400. Anything that can be compared to this would be the swimming pool that we have. So one more time, we have 45,400. If we go escape the soccer and we go and press on our swimming pool, it's three times the price. So definitely not a cheaty mod. It's quite realistic. It's expensive if you want to be, get yourself something like this, but definitely big thumbs up and you're gonna see it in my last place. Link in the description of the video. Sacred Heart Cathedral Sarajevo by Equinox Nova. There's a description in the Serbo-Croatian language as well, which would be uh, Bosnian and Montenegro as well, but let's call it our language, our language from the Balkans. Uh, English description is like this. The Sacred Heart Cathedral is a Catholic church in Sarajevo, commonly referred as Sarajevo Cathedral. It is the largest cathedral in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It, it is the seat of the Archbishop of Vrh Bosna, currently yara 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 uh, and center of catholic worship in the city the cathedral is located in the city old town district sacred heart cathedral uh, was built in honor of sacred heart of jesus and important okay there's the whole history during the uh, siege of sarajevo but not completely destroyed it was damaged and the damage since was well repaired the building is often considered a symbol of the city the design above okay i'm gonna tell you a little bit of my uh, story about uh, not uh, about sarajevo and of course this church as well um you have in sarajevo you have two i think there are two biggest uh, mosques uh catholic cathedral and orthodox cathedral within a few hundred meters from each other it's absolutely amazing mixture of cultures histories and the best thing about sarajevo is food this is a big advertisement from my point of of you sarajevo is the the best city in the balkans the, to enjoy uh, i love everything about that city i often visit and i can't wait until i go visit again and this is uh, one of those uh, historical co cultural heritages that we have it's a catholic cathedral uh, it works in this game as a cathedral so uh, we're gonna go and check out what uh, we can compare it actually we can't really compare it with anything i can compare it to other mods uh, we're gonna quickly do that but let me tell you how much it costs so it costs 48,000. That's not cheap. And by the way, date details on it, it's absolutely amazing. Come on, look at this. You can see the stonework on this one. You can see the clock towers. It's it's absolutely magnificent. Look at the the tinted glass, the uh, the color glass. I, I forgot what the or, or what's the name. Look at the details. This is what I want to tell you. Absolutely stunning. This is my favorite mod this mod Monday and uh, absolutely I'm loving it. Now, uh, it's not cheap. We can go for uh, comparing this to other mods. So if we go in the church section, we have um, the white mosque that uh, was made as well by Equinox Nova. We have uh, Robs' mods. For example, this uh, big church over here, it's similar in size, but it's a little bit cheaper. So this cathedral, if you want to use it, it's going to set you back a little bit. It's extremely fair and it's also iconic uh, building. So anyway, look, go and read in the description of the video more about this building. You're going to love it, I promise. 
another one by Mr. Novu, uh, Park Row Building. The Park Row Building is a historic New York skyscraper constructed in, 19, in 1899, and it was the tallest occupied uh, building constructed in the 19th century. It was the first building that exceeded 30 floors, originally an office tower. It was converted into luxury apartments in the 21st century, housing 550 at 100% quality. That's the description of the building. Now, this is extremely lavish building, as well as the previous mod. It has amazing, amazing details. As you can see here, the amazing brickwork we have on this side and some stonework on this one. Of course, you have these concrete pillars. I would say that they're made of concrete. And uh, this side, it's every side is different color and material. Now, the brick, the, both of these sides, like the, looks like the same brickwork. And here we have, I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the front of the building. I like the color scheme on these. And then the lower floors over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks really, really nice. This is absolutely beautiful mod. Oh, the statues as well. I didn't even notice them. Haha, <laughs> they're, they're actually 3D. Are they? They look like they are. Anyway, really beautiful mod. Okay, uh, this looks expensive. Knowing Mr. Novu, you can get it either way. I'm gonna say that this is really, really expensive buildings, and there's a cute story about these water towers in, in New York, in the United States. Almost every building has it, but anyway, that's a story for a different time. Right, so building price, let's go and show all show all mods, uh, and in the end we have the Park Row building, 240,000 rubles. It has a decent capacity, I have to say, 550 people, that's a lot of people, it's a tall building, but... This is pricey, and, I, and I, I think it's fair. Let's see what materials are actually used in there. Uh, let's see. We have 450 tons of concrete. We have 230 tons of steel, 400 tons of bricks. Absolutely amazing. And mechanical components. Thank you for this. You should put electrical components. Every building should have electrical components as well because of the electricity. Oh, even the elevators. I know mechanical components are here. That does, But anyway, that, this is just my two cents. I think uh, every residential building should have electrical components going into it um, to increase the price, but also to keep it a little bit real. Anyway, beautiful mod. There's nothing incomparable to this. Uh, the, 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 the biggest buildings in vanilla we have, it's there around under 20,000 rubles. This is more than 10 times and uh, three times bigger capacity, but 10 times more uh, more expensive. So definitely quite realistic. Big thumbs up. Not a cheating mod. Link in description. American pre-war houses by Lex713. The pack comes with four American pre-war houses based on a real-life projects from 1930s. Each of the houses has 80% living quality. Ooh, that's a little bit low. And uh, can house up to seven people. Also, all of them provide with self-heating in case you don't have centralized heating. Also, keep in mind that the uh, parking spots in the houses are uh, purely decorative. Yeah, of course. And then we have uh, feature houses, uh, eight if you mirror them. 80% um, quality of living, up to 7 people in each house. P.S. This is an old model that I just decided to publish. Right, so you have uh, more details there. We're gonna go and check them out, what's the deal with the houses. Unfortunately, the game doesn't allow us for one construction to serve as dual purpose, you know. In this case, parking lot for for cars, unfortunately. But um, all of the houses, do we have all of them have garage? No, uh, two of them have garages, the two of them don't. Now, bear in mind that there's a <clears throat> skin mod as well. I will uh, change some of this color scheme on these uh, just to have a little bit diverse look of these houses, even though I like the original green one. I think there's a lot of beautiful stuff that we can choose from. I think there are four skin models, skin mods for, for this. Um, for these buildings. Now, it, if you want to have something a little bit older and American, Western, this is definitely a thing to go for. Every one of them has American flag on it, no? Yeah. Yeah, all of them have American flags as well. This is really, really beautiful. Now, I really, I really, uh, I like to see when people invest so much time into the, you know, building all the details, creating all of this. It's absolutely big thumbs up for me. Thank you for this. Let's move on. I give you Fox County but Lex 713. Fox County features semi-fictional region based on a real-life area of Montana State, United States. While the landscape is real, most uh, most part of road grid are fictional as well as Lake uh, Bowden, which is which you might recognize from the map. 
uh, from other map that would be Marble County. We covered that map as well in this series. Map gives you a decent amount of resources, but you can't say that uh, it's easily accessible. So you have to think wisely about the infrastructure. The most unique feature of this map is that it actually uh, breaks the limits of the game and gives you uh, 30 times 30 kilometers. This is also something that we're going to talk about. Um, of overall area with two, uh, 26 times 26 kilometers area available for you to build on. Uh, the comparable vanilla maps give you only 16 times 16 kilometers or 256 square kilometers area. Uh, and some custom maps give you 400 kilometers square utilizing 20 times 20 zone. Keep in mind that you must have a uh, mid high spec PC or laptop to play comfortably as it's breaking the limits of the game and might cause significant performance drop. Anyway, no, doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Everything that we read here, it's absolutely perfect. Map uh, stats 26 times 26, seven border connections, uh, one huge river, two big fancy lakes a lot of uh, relatively flat areas to build on all resources available county can be uh, become fully self-sufficient two swamp areas pre-built freeway uh, plus partially built freeway on the south beautiful and challenging mountain ranges we're gonna cover all of that you have also screenshots it's a lot of a lot of effort went into this and i really really appreciate it this is absolutely amazing we're gonna check all the details right now okay now back to the map Press G, open the map. Let's see what we are dealing with. Mountain ranges on the west. We're gonna go and check them out. Let's go right now. We're gonna see this. Uh, this looks starts a little bit hilly, but it's nothing too stressful. And then we have a couple of canyons here that is gonna be a little bit challenging to overcome. Uh, map is absolutely huge. I love it. This is this should be a standard from now on. Thank you so much for this. Um, for for making this map and as big as it is now we have a freeway here let's talk about the freeway let's see what we have over here where is you did i lose you uh nope 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 where is it here we go okay there's a little bit of a bridge here but we are not bridging this river am i missing something here yeah, it's a little bit challenging to find. Yeah, the map is not perfectly. Let me see if am I going crazy? Yeah, the map is not perfectly aligned. You can see here we are over these dual bridges here and it's showing us in a different location. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm not sure why is that probably because of the size of the map, but it doesn't matter. Um, so if you press over these bridges, you're actually not going to be over these bridges. The bridges are a little bit further off. So you're going to have to look at the uh, you're gonna have to look at and here for example we have this big river oh yeah we're still going outside of the map and map is not showing us that that's fine that's fine i'm actually quite okay with this if we go all the way in a corner at least we see how it looks like where the map is it is a little bit challenging to do so but um i think it's gonna be fine let's see the and the highway system here i'm pretty sure we're gonna have a hard time finding it <laughs> not really okay highway system is a little bit uh, maybe too developed for my taste uh, but um it doesn't doesn't really matter this is definitely one of the maps i'm thinking about playing uh, let's play on because of its size okay what about the resources he said he said how dare he he said that there's enough resources. Lex said that there's enough resources. There's enough resources. Okay, so we have a lot of coal, mostly in the mountains. We have a lot of iron, mostly in the mountains. We have some oil, mostly in the flatlands. We have a little bit of uranium ore. Not that... Well, actually, it's a decent amount. And bauxite all over the place. Okay, so we have enough resources for whatever we want to do. It will not be so challenging, but I think the size of the map is going to be a challenge. Let's see the border crossings here. We have... We have a couple of them. I'm not sure which one of them are actually border crossing. Let's check some of these. Swampy area here and swampy area there. That's fine. This is the Soviet border. Do we have a border crossing? No, this is just a road going across the border. It's not actual border crossing, so we wouldn't be able to export anything here. But here we get to the so proper Soviet border. Uh, or near the highway entrance. Yeah, it looks nice. I think I think it looks really nice. Actually, I think we might do something with this. I'm having ideas. Oh, two power connectors. Nice, 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 nice. We should uh, be able to use those. Uh, border crossing, yet, yet. And then we have uh, Moose County over here. Okay. Okay. Right. So uh, this is the map. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like this map. If you do, uh, go and check it out. What else do we have here? Hope County. 
Wow, this is a big border card. Oh, this looks beautiful. Really nice design. Really nice design. Oh, let's move the map. I would like to see more of the beautiful design over here. South border. Uh, that's fine as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the so on the side where you border with the Soviet countries, uh, the Soviet Republic, you will uh, you have oil and what else do you have here? I don't think anything else is around here. We have here the, the bauxite. That would be that could be one of the. Oh, look at how beautiful it is! These mountain ranges, mountain passes. Let's see. Here we go. Ah, uh, I can already see our my car's vehicles going through these uh, switchbacks. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'll definitely play on this map. I'm not sure if I'm going to record, but like I'm definitely going to play on this map. This is really, really beautiful. Yeah, definitely one of the best maps recently I saw. So big thumbs up. If this map thing can be, you know, changed, fixed, whatever, that would be great. If not, it's it's still great and amazing anyway. So yeah, uh, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Legs, for this. Okay, that's it. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it an episode. I'm gonna say uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, we have description of the video. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Labor Day. Who is celebrating on today? Because in Ireland, today on Monday is a holiday. But it's 2nd of May. Anyway, uh, that's it. See you in the next. Bye-bye.